An area activist wants to do more for the community. Crystal Oriatha is running for the District 7 seat on the Prince George's County Council. If elected, she plans to focus on a number of issues, including improving education and economic development. She's going to sit down in the studio to talk more about her plans. Well, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Tell us, tell us who you are. Yeah, so as you said, I'm Crystal Oriatha. I'm a local activist. I've been doing grassroots activist and political nonprofit sector for over a decade. Mm -hmm. And I'm running because I feel like there's a gap. I think that we have a lot of career politicians at the table and not a lot of people that would do this work um, in the dead of the night when no one was watching for no accolades, for little to no money. They truly are in the trenches when it's not political time. And I think as an activist, a lot of times when you're trying and you're struggling and you're lobbying for mm -hmm. legislation and it's pulling teeth, <laughs> um, for people that you help to get elected, they're supposed to be Democrats. and you can't get them on side. I realize that the problem, it doesn't just lie with them, it lies with us as people voting and not having activists and advocates, people that believe in this, no matter if they're getting paid to do the job. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons I stepped up to run for office. Now, the seat you're running for, District 7, is currently held by Karen Tolles, yes. Councilwoman Tolles, mm -hmm. and she's term limited, so yes. she's not running again. Yes. And it covers Capitol Heights, Marlow Heights, Temple Hill, Seat Pleasant, a lot of other areas. Yeah. Why was it important for you to run for this seat in particular? Mm -hmm. When I thought about, because some people came up and said, you should run for office. And when I looked at what seats I think I could do the most good and do the most work, I was really looking for something where you can impact immediately. I think a lot of times when you look at the state legislator, they do a lot of good work and it's a lot of long-term um, work and it takes a lot of time to roll out different policies. But when we look at, at the county council, it's the purse strings of the county and you can really impact change tomorrow tomorrow with this type mm -hmm. of legislation or budget cuts or extending budgets. And I thought that's where I could really be impactful. And what are the areas you'd like to work on to focus in on? Yeah, for me, education, economic development, overall quality of mm -hmm. life are the most important things to me. When you look at education, it is the equalizer. No matter your gender, race, economic status, sexual orientation, it is your opportunity not only to bring yourself out, but mm -hmm. bring your entire family and community. And that's one of the reasons I've been lobbying for community schools. How do we make community schools, the hub of the community, like you see sometimes churches are, mm -hmm. where the school doesn't just serve the students, but it serves everyone. And for economic development, I think we have to look at providing living wages for people. There's no reason you should go to work, work two to three jobs, and still live at poverty or below the poverty line. And I think you also have to look at how can we grow small businesses. And a lot of the grants we have now don't actually go to companies in their infancy stage. And so I'd like us to look at grant proposals for companies that are just starting out, starting out, maybe they're a year old, and they really need seed money to get mm -hmm. there. And then we look at quality of life, that's looking at how we live in food deserts. We don't even have access to grocery stores in some neighborhoods. And then also looking at criminal justice reform that you know is something that's near and dear to me because I think that when we tackle specifically education and criminal justice reform, that's how you can really change an entire community for generations. Your ideas sound very interested. You know that uh, this race is very crowded, yeah. six other candidates yes. <laughs> running against you. What do you think sets you apart? I think being an activist and an advocate is really what sets me apart. Um, most people that have worked with me know that I do this work for little to nothing. I was a fellow for some national campaigns, didn't take pay. I've done pro bono work for nonprofits for sometimes four years. I stayed on five years. It's because I believe this work is important and I will show up not for just an election she's in. I wasn't groomed for politics. I didn't retire into it. And I'm not just showing up to the fight because there's an open seat. I'm showing up because I think that this seat is so important that we get someone in there that is truly going to be an advocate and an activist. And we need more than one seat at the table. I hope that we see activists up and down the state get elected so that we can have a more powerful vo vote and voice when it comes to legislation. So real quick in about 10 yeah. seconds, uh, what's happening Sunday? Sunday we're actually having a kickoff event for my campaign. It is at 
3130, um, Branch Avenue, okay. so at Unique Ballroom, but if you can go to my website, votechristoriella.com, you can get all the information there. Okay, right. and we're going to give people more details on that event yes. on Sunday. There it is right there on your screen. Unique Banquet Hall, 3130 Branch Avenue in Temple Hills, like you said, oh, right. and Sunday <laughs> from 3 to 5, and Crystal would love for you to join her, of course.